shoulder until it goes numb and then I can't feel my hand and then I get pins and needles and then I have to try and get it away from underneath you. I want to feel your cold feet on my feet and the way your toes which are so hard, toenails scratch my feet. I want you to pull the pillow from under your head so violently that it almost smashes me in the face. I want to roll over and wonder what the hell that is sticking in my back and it's your glasses. I want to struggle around in some of my boxer shorts and think what the hell is that? And it's your headphones that have somehow got in there. Yeah, I'm missing all those things. Those funny strange things. Ah, oh, so lovely Jane has just dropped me off at the station. So I'll be back home in about 10 minutes. So nice to do a road trip. Um, we talked all the way to Oxford and all the way back and it was great. And I just had, oh my God, just the best time. Just hanging out, eating. Yeah, stayed in Cyrus' daughter's room, slept in her princess bed, woke up feeling like a princess. Um, yeah, so really gorgeous time. I'm looking forward to getting back and seeing the guys and cooking a nice roast chicken. Sunday morning. The house is totally quiet. Um, <clears throat> Nadia would be freaking because I'm having my first coffee. <clears throat> but it is already nine o'clock. Just a lay in for me. As Nadia would say, it's a beautiful day. Which, if I'm honest, I have been waiting for a break in the weather. I hate the sun generally, but I need to fill the skip. And me and Annie Di need to work out what we're going to do with that flower bed. Uh, I think it needs clearing and things like that. So I need to order soil. <laughs> As you rightly say, we need to stop ordering plants to plant. But I also need to plant some seeds, because if I'm going to grow just some vegetables in the greenhouse, I need to get them out today. But anyway, that's all happening over in Greenfingered Hill. Uh, we're going to shoot a few bits and bobs for that. Um, and Nadia's back today. And I'm sure the fun will start once she's back. Definitely lies within there. had a great trip back from Oxford with Jane. She drove all the way, she's so good, and just dropped, dropped me off at the station. So I'll be back at home in about 10 minutes. Had such a lovely time just hanging out, eating, drinking, laughing, chatting, gossiping, putting the world to right. Slept in uh, Syrah's daughter's bedroom, so I now feel like a princess, because I was in a princess room. Thank you, Amara, for lending me your bedroom. <laughs> Oh, it was just a lovely, lovely time. And now I'm looking forward to seeing the family, getting back and I get home, cook a nice roast dinner, and then go to yoga with Dina tonight. So what a perfect weekend. Okay, so I've left Green Fingered Hell to come and pick up Anne Nat. Wonder if she's uh, nursing a little bit of a hangover. Um, hope she had a good time there. Looked like she was having fun. Always a good sign is if like, when someone's eating some food that they really like, they don't talk. So another really good sign is, if someone's having a great time at a party, you don't get any footage. Well, not a lot. We got a bit, but not a lot. Um, so hopefully she'll be full of tales of divine food. Um, I think I heard somewhere that it was all vegan. No vegan food's come a long way since the days of uh, tofu. But um, it's not my idea of fun. I much preferred my KFC. Sorry about that. Mm. Um, Anyway, so I've left Nanny Di up at the house, uh, redistributing tulips. Flip over to Greenfingered Hill to see how she's getting on. So I'm just waiting to see her. I keep looking like that because I'm looking in my rear view mirror. It's funny, I'm still looking. She says she's pulled in, but I can't see her. Do you ever do that thing where you're looking for someone in a crowd and you see so many people who look like the person you're looking for and you make that embarrassing mistake of going, oh, oh and then you have to pull yourself back. I often, with, with, uh, with Nadia, it's, it's when I see women from behind, I see their curly hair in a crowd and I'll go running if I'm meeting her and, and then I'll sort of embarrass myself. That's why I have to be careful with my sense of humour. Oh, there she comes. A shock of glamour in the tiredness of West Norwood in her Vivian Westwood coat that I got her 
a sort of martini olive colour. I kind of got at that because I thought it would make her think of my olives in martinis. I used to love a martini when I was a drinker. She's got her earphones in, she's probably listened to music. Looks like a woman who's had a good time. Looks like she's eaten good food. Looks like she's had a nice drink. And looks like she'll possibly be up for a kiss. What do you reckon, team? Here she comes. Hiya. Hello. How are you? Just saying. Oh, I missed you. Hi. Hello, Subs. How are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, it's such a lovely time. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Cyrus is so hospitable. Cyrus' husband is so lovely. You would oh. love him, Mark. Oh. He's a thinker like you. Oh, He's nice. a really lovely guy. Um, the house was exquisite. I saw bits of it. I, I saw mean, the, for some reason I saw just a drinks cabinet. Exquisite. Um, absolutely beautiful. And company was great Stacy oh, came Jane was there oh, nice. obviously because we went together and we just chatted and chatted and then friends of Cyrus that I don't know that we yeah. didn't know two that were you they were worked used to work together in the Burton's biscuit factory oh how fantastic so it was a really good mix of people oh. couldn't have been nicer the weather was lovely her children were adorable oh. I slept in her daughter's gorgeous princess bed so I woke oh, up feeling like a, like a princess oh. I was really nice I was saying you look like a shock, a shock of princess-like colour in the middle of West Norwood. Uh, this is my glam coat. I was saying, I was saying you're Viv, so Viv Westwood. nice. Martini olive. I wish, do you know what, I just wish I would just wear it instead of keeping it for best. Why don't I just sometimes wear it to the pub? Well, because the dogs will jump up on it. Well, yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's and you'd look like a and dick in a And how are you? Yeah, very good, very good. Thank you, got through yesterday. Uh, shared that on the vlog. And, uh, yeah, good. Just gardening with Nanny Di back at base. Kiki still isn't up yet. You know, it's... <gasps> 12 o'clock. What? Yeah, so I think she needs to sleep, obviously. Wow. Yeah. And uh, Maddie's at home. Maddie's up. She's I'm going to make roast chicken, chips and salad. Fantastic. So, Nad, yeah. something that would really help out here is what to do oh with... Oh, my God, you're not filming with my hair like this. Look is, my hair. is what to do with the gazillions of uh, trampolines out here? I know, we need to think I mean, that. it's a real problem because they just become places that just sit I and... Know. So where, where can they go? Probably in here. Yeah? Enough. Okay. I'm going to go and have a bath in a minute. Okay. Are you going to film in there? Huh? Are you going to film in the bathroom? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to film in the bathroom. No. I don't think our subs deserve that. No, I mean of the bathroom, not you. Oh. No. Oh, you're going to have a bath in a minute. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Officially, we're out of Green Fingered Hell. Mum, welcome back to the weekend vlog. <laughs> Hello. Out there, Green Fingered Hell. Cross this line, Green Fingered Hell. In here, you're Dinner. in weekend vlog, Mum. How does it feel? Uh, great. Hiya. I like your top. Let's have a look at your top. Hi, Mark. Very nice. Six like your... pounds. Really? You look gorgeous. I love your sort of, it's like a mod, almost like a mod. It's gorgeous, isn't it? What have we got going on here? Well, just a simple, a simple Sunday lunch today. Salad, hot baguettes. Look at the chicken in there. Oh, look, it's a chicken looks delish. Oh, bloody hell. Doesn't it? That does look great. Can somebody get a couple, find a couple of avocados? What's your, uh, what's the message on your top today, babe? Eat your greens. Mm. You I've got um, a hair mask on. If anyone's wondering why I've still got my uh, a hair mask. A okay. hair mask. I always used to do this when I was a kid. I would, when we were teenagers, me and my sisters. Sunday was always face masks, hair mask. Just had a real ritual on Sunday nights. I think, I think what I used to do on a Sunday. Ever since I had kids. I think I used to do a similar thing, actually. Yeah. Um, remember, Mum, how... I'm going to do a homemade face mask in a minute. Oh, for who? For me. Oh. Did you ever use... I remember you using face masks, Mum. I did. <coughs> in, in between making lists of horses' names. You made... <laughs> face masks? Don't even ask, subs. What did I what do? Do you remember as a teenager? You played with your little soldiers. <laughs> and... <d> <laughs> 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 All right, Mum, let's not tell the world. <laughs> His little soldiers were legendary in the area. Yeah, um, yeah but what about Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. But no, I was thinking more of them. Do you remember every other weekend I would go to James? 
Yeah. Every weekend I'd go to James. What were you doing for those weekends? I came and got you and bought, came back. Took the dogs out for long, long oh, walks. I and stay worked, the night at hers. Worked in the garden. Yeah, you, could, you could never understand why I spent so much time in the garden. You hated it was mainly to get away from my partner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the reason I got a girlfriend, so I could get away from your partner. I oh, know. <laughs> hello, girls. Say hello, hello to your subs. Hi, subs. Hi, subs. <laughs> oh. I've got news for Maddie. What? Leonardo DiCaprio has a new girlfriend. <gasps> and she's 21. I'm not surprised. He's, she's oh, at what? He's at Coachella. She's Al Pacino's stepdaughter. <gasps> How old is he now? I like your 44. Little, I like your tattoo. No. Medic. He's yeah, always he always goes for young models. Doesn't <laughs> surprise me. 44. You know he last at one Coachella he got off with uh, Rihanna. Did he? Did he? <laughs> yeah, there's photos of him kissing. But isn't Rihanna with someone? At the time, she probably wasn't. She's with everyone. Oh, <laughs> no. Somebody got me thinking about crushes. Crushes? Yeah. I, yeah I, I used to have the most painful crush on Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, right, and that's irrelevant for years. Tell them what it was like. We used to cry every night, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, you were, you were really sad. I had a crush on little also Joe out of Bananza. Also because he wasn't young anymore. <laughs> little Joe out of Bananza. Also because he wasn't young anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you, you fell in love with him in Romeo and Juliet, yeah, didn't thanks, you? Lover. Yes. Yeah, more than Titanic. So, Mum, you, you had a crush on who? Little Joe out of Bonanza. He was the youngest of the four. Oh, brothers. I remember him. And he was played by Michael Landon. I can remember all of that because I was yeah. so mad about it. And my mum and dad used to send me to bed in the middle of the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's watching it. Is that yeah. why you like? Is that why you <laughs> like butch women? He was, maybe. What? <laughs> I don't like butch women. <laughs> you were with a lot. I was with a lot. <laughs> Kiki, who's your celebrity crush? She doesn't have them. You had a huge one on Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard is Finn Wolfhard. Sean Mendes was another no, one. No, now it's Jack Dylan Grazer. Yeah, My exactly. heart. Your heart. Oh, you get genuinely crest. No, but I know that No, feeling. I actually do get depressed, though. Do yes. you? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. So so she will, like, I honestly she... cry with my friends about it because it's just, like, so sad. Oh. She went What's to a wedding. He'll never know her. <laughs> love her back. Back. He will if Bobby, baby, baby, Bobby. Yeah, but he'll never love her back. Mm. Billy, Bobby, baby, baby. Bobby, Bobby. What's her name? Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby, Bobby. She Bobby, doesn't Bobby. know him. I can't stop saying it. Millie Bobby Brown. I can't even remember who my crush. My crush now yeah. is Evan Peters. I he's can he. see why. I he's can the see guy. why. He's an American yeah, American oh, yeah. Animals. He's in an American Animals. You'll know him as the main, the main oh, heist yeah. guy. He's in this thing. Woo! American Horror Story. Mm. Yeah, which you don't like, do you, Mum? Uh, it's, it's, she doesn't like American Horror Story. You've got to be so deranged. Sexual. It's, gone so sexual. it's quite it's sexual. Oh, come on, Maddie. Every bloody scene that. Yes, yeah, but everybody yeah. that's sexual in it gets karma, hits them right in the face. No, <laughs> like <laughs> any good horror film, if you no, smoke you drugs or have sex in a sort of dubious way, no, you're killed. Me and Dad realised the other day that in horror films, anybody that sins, so if there's a sex scene in a horror film mm. or somebody's taking drugs, you know, right after they're going to be the next to die because they've sinned. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily a good message. There's nothing wrong with having sex. Okay. If you yeah. haven't seen it, you don't know what <laughs> kind of sex. Okay. This is just oh, okay. How did this, we went from nice, cute, childhood crushes to sex. Because my crush is in that Yeah, no, because her crush is in it. Yeah, no, and because her crush is in it. he wears latex <laughs> suits and... and, 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 and okay, he's in That's not why she has a crush on him. No, no. Kiki and Maddie, I've noticed that your crushes also relate to young men who are good actors. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of that's a, a that's a good that's attribute. Kiki, oh, what's the thing that makes you love him most? Is it? Oh, so she's going to stop crying. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. 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 She's, oh. No, she's crying. No, no, oh, no, no sweetie. Don't hug me because I don't want to cry more. Oh. What's the thing you love about him most? He's really funny and good at acting and he's really cute. This is the one in Shazam. <laughs> oh, sweetie, look, you've always got your dad in your life to give you hugs. Okay. Look, she wants hugs from him. I know she wants hugs from him. <laughs> and he skateboards. Oh, he skateboards. Oh, he skateboards as well. Yeah, that is hot. Oh, if you can what, skateboard. What? No, you can't, you can't <laughs> say that. Oh, sorry. You can't say that. Oh, yeah, I can't say that, Subs. No, I don't. I'm saying. I know, but it can be interpreted. My first crush was on Debbie Harry. Blondie. Madonna, so Blondie. Blondie was my first ever proper crush. Yeah, I think most boys. Yeah, I mean, I used to get copies of the magazine oh, that she was in, 
and I would kiss them voraciously on the bunk bed. I don't know where. <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was really odd. Okay, and then I'd hand them that. back and they'd be wet. Oh. <laughs> I'm kissing, I'm kissing so much. Then I had a crush on Madonna when she did Like a Virgin, uh, na, na, uh, na, na. touch for the very first time, like a virgin, when your heart beats next to mine. Yeah, so I had a crush on her. Finn Wolfhard, you were a gibbering wreck. Yeah. He's the only member of Stranger Things Apparently you have no like friendship with. Apparently I... <laughs> Apparently, I look like him. You do a bit. I, I wish do. I could yeah. see this hand because I'm not hungry now. Mum, do you remember me having a crush on Debbie Harry? Yeah. I had a crush on Debbie Harry. I had a crush on. Uh, who else did I have a crush on? Do you know anyone else I had a crush on? He must have done. Not Madonna. You never yeah, liked Madonna. Yeah, Little Light of Virgin. Madonna, and yeah, there was something that was just risque about Madonna. You just I'm thought, afraid your biggest crush was with. Bloody Larry, what's his name? Larry Blackman from Cameo. Exactly. That's true, actually. Well, you thought he was your dad. I wanted him to be my dad. Dad, he, he used to wear a copies and look in the mirror and pretend he was Larry Blackman. I'd take the bottom of a... Codpiece. Codpiece. Make sure they sell it's codpiece. Codpiece. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cod 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 it used to be the bottom of a Tizer bottle, Nadia, yeah. that I would tie onto my crutch and then yeah. I couldn't get it off. You know, the lead singer of Cameo. Well, Our pretty life. ladies around the world yeah. got a real yeah. thing. Anyway, I used to spend hours looking in the mirror, Nadia. And he, of course, he's a black musician with a sort of, he used to have a flat, do you no, remember the flat top? You. Flat top yeah. and a moustache. And I used to look in the mirror and I'd look at my eyes and I'd think, I do look like him. I mean, what kind of a moron was he? Because he was just father. Absolute moron. I had a crush on the woman in the Carry On Screaming film. Vanilla, is that Vanilla Fields? The first girl I remember seeing in a movie at the cinema it when was I was about Nadia. 14 and I thought, well, oh, she's nice, was Nadia, Nadia. in crazy. Clockwise. Isn't that yeah. funny? As a punk, and that punk thing was a thread back to Blondie. So, Kiki, how do you cope with your crush at the moment? Oh, I when don't it's... cope. You don't cope? <laughs> I don't cope. Does it make you depressed? Yes. That. No, I remember that though. No, I remember being like, really no, depressed. depressed. <laughs> My crush on Leonardo, I was chronic depressive. Really? <laughs> the pain of it is unbearable. Excuse me. I just used to go to the stables whenever I felt. Well, so if I was to say to you, you're never going to meet him, would that make you sad? No, I already know I'm not. All oh, right. So what but makes no, you yeah, sad when you think about him? So I'll never meet him. Oh, what no, that, happen? I was telling you last night, it's so annoying, like even if it's a celebrity and you just wish they were your friend. Yeah. yeah. And you know that they'd love you and you'd yeah. love them, but yeah. they'll never know because they'll never meet you. <laughs> it's like, I know... Is that why you used to think about Leonardo? No. Oh. That's so deep. The closest she got to Leonardo, though, she has got the car plate upstairs prop from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, from his car. I must have been much more shallow than you. I just used to think... No, stupid, I, Mum. I think you are just no, stupid. No, no, stupid isn't the right word, shallow. It's because I, I loved all these people and had crushes on them, but then... I never felt depressed about it. I bet you did, you've just forgotten. Well, yeah. I don't think you've felt depressed What are your anything? crushes? Sops, what are your crushes? We'd love to know. Who is your crush? Did you have a funny crush? Did you have an embarrassing crush? How did you deal with the pain? Kiki's needing advice on how to Go deal on. with the pain of a crush. How long did it take for yours to wear off? Oh, she was like... <laughs> huh? Good five years. <laughs> Jesus. That doesn't give you much hope for the pain, Kiki. I had a crush. My oh, bigger... yeah, I crush on that. Guy, Paul Newman. You said look like yeah, Finn Wolfhard, which he doesn't. Paul Newman. Oh, Paul Newman. The Osmonds. Um, Duran Duran. Oh my God. Oh, no. The band I, I used to ache for was Duran Duran. I embarrass him. Um, Haircut 100, I had quite a crush on him. Yeah. Judah had a major crush on him. Um, Donny Osmond, who I used to kiss every night. I had a full-size poster. Yeah, like David no, Blondie. No. I think my biggest pain, well, apart from Paul Newman, because he was my one first true meaningful love, love was um, Starsky at Starsky and Hutch. Oh, yeah, Paul Hutch. Michael Glazier. No, no, yeah. Hutch, the blonde one. Oh, the blonde, blonde one. one. Yeah. He's oh. still around, isn't he? David I mean, Sol. Hey, David Sol. Unbearable. Was he, it? He was, isn't it weird? He was now <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. And he's got blonde hair like me. I related, I used to play David Sol in Starsky and Hutch. Don't give up on me, Jack, Jack looks like Fred Savage. I don't know who Fred Savage yeah. is. Let's see. My favourite <laughs> crush, crush was Elvis, actually. Elvis? Oh, Elvis. Yeah. I, I have a crush on Elvis. Elvis. Did you? Elvis. I went through an Elvis phase where I was watching one of his films and I would just... Cry. 
was his body, God, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, girl, yeah. God, I went to see... Body. I thought he looked like he was having some kind of... Seizure. No, I went to see a film he made called Flaming Star, where he plays yeah. um, a person of... On of fire? Red Indian origin. Not oh. Red Indian, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. American Indian. Yeah. Yeah. And he dies halfway through the film, and I went with my sister... And when we got home, I cried so much that Mum opened the door and she said, what, what's happened to her? And Trish oh. went, Trish went, she, she just died. Elvis just died. Oh, <laughs> <we're through the laughs> but I think a lot of people tend to say to kids, oh, it's just a crush. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's no, deep. It's real. It's meaningful. It's, really it's yeah. real. It's painful. It's yeah. You don't have to tell me that. I've got it right now with Josh Brolin and Jack Black. Mm. Yeah, I'm not It bad. hurts. Wait, wait. It hurts. Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. No, no, no. I like him. Mm. But I haven't been in pain over it. Oh, oh that's an interesting distinction. Yeah. Mm. So that you can almost sort of put them in order of how much pain they give you. That's yeah. how much you know that you adore them. Mm. I'd love I'd love to be I'm in agony. Oh, I'm in yeah, agony. Jakey, do you always share it with all your friends about your... Um... Yeah, because they all have bad crushes on people. Because you do a lot of talking upstairs on the phone. Do you, do you sort of help each other ease each other's pain? No, we just cry together. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is easing your pain a bit, but yeah. I to get <laughs> When she went to see Shazam with Johnny, apparently she cried with Oh, no, and with Sally. I saw it twice. I had to see it twice, and I cried in both both scenes, and over Jack was in it. Oh. Did you used to cry with Leonardo? Oh, she used to cry so I can't watch a little film now without crying. Try really? Oh, yes, please. Oh, he dies in almost every film he's in. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm about it. Happen. Think about it. He does. Apart from Wolf of Wall Street, we don't know about the revenant because that ends with a cliffhanger. Who is the one that you want to spend your life with, Mark, out of your crushes? Um, spend my life with? Yeah, and I, I wanted to marry Paul Newman. I imagined him. Oh, Paul Newman was gorgeous. I imagined was my Leonardo. house, my car, my kids. Oh, I, I used to have Paul dreams Newman's... that I married Leonardo. Paul Newman's fantastic. And I'd wake up right before, you know, when you kissed Kiss the boy. Yeah. No. And I'd wake up thinking I was married to him. <laughs> oh, and then I was still in my own bed at home and I was like, <laughs> so oh. sweet. Paul Newman's fan generations as well because my I lo I thought he was gorgeous, he but was. he was far too old for me. But my mum loved him as well, yeah. thought he was gorgeous. So did my mum. Yeah. Well, Chris Pratt. He an environmentalist Chris now. Pratt. I like Chris Pratt. She liked Chris Pratt. Cares about the world. I tell you someone I did sort of have daydreams about being with is uh, Carrie Fisher as, as Princess oh, Leia. Yeah. Oh, as Princess Carrie Leia. Fisher. I mean, she was just like, oh my God. Mm. Yes. I just wanted her. Yeah. This is nothing to do and with the film, sorry. I left my hat last time, you know my... Um... I know, I chased it all in the house. I've given it to you before you left. Okay, okay. So, Gigi, tell me about the Chris Pratt moment. How long did that last for? That was quite bad. Hey, hang on a minute. Can I just say, the right. first example of it was we were on holiday in Los Angeles yes. and I walked into oh, yeah. the room she was sleeping in with Nanny Di. Yes. Next to Kiki's side of the bed when she was seven or eight yes. was Men's Fitness magazine with Chris Pratt on the front. <laughs> I was thinking, this is a crush. Oh, <laughs> oh, he was saying like so this cute. as well. In like a really tight suit, like flexing. Show me. I didn't know why. I, 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 <laughs> uh, oh, but, uh, wasn't there someone before Chris Pratt? There, there was. was another bodybuilder. Oh, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne no, Johnson. No, no, no. I only liked him for like a week. Yeah. I only loved him for a week. <laughs> no, liked. I didn't say loved. Okay. Oh, there's a distinction. Yes. I thought I was gay at one point when I had a crush on Adam Ann. I had you a real, a crush, I had oh, a, I, oh God, he was a I massive crush. I had a crush. real crush on Adam so but it was a sort of, there was something sort of... So good looking. Oh, I have a massive crush on Sophie Lillies from It. Oh, yeah, the girl in I It. I just love her. And that Amy Adams series. Mm. So yeah. who was your first female crush, Lenny Dye? I can't remember. It, my life was horses. <laughs> <laughs> there must have been a movie star. star. Um, <laughs> well, it was Elvis. I don't, didn't really have any female crushes. Crushes, crushes. Oh, everyone's had a female crush. I know, but I can't remember going back. I've been gay for you. I mean, there weren't, there weren't that many. I'm trying to think. Oh, Nanny Dye was gay. Marilyn. 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 Mine, Marilyn. Mine too. That was mine, Marilyn. I mean, uh, Marilyn, I was obsessed with. Were. Do you remember? Me too. Mm. I was probably obsessed with Marilyn. I had a, yeah. I had my own little um, sort of toilet room. We yeah. call it an ensuite. And my mum let me decorate how I wanted it. And it was floor to ceiling, Marilyn pictures. And on the ceiling. Oh, wow. There was just like a shrine to Marilyn. Yeah. Well, like, well, Did you I ever have a Audrey Hepburn? No. Oh, I, I liked Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn, I want... She wasn't crushy, hang on. I had a wonderful <laughs> moment where I met one of my crushes. 
I always had a crush on the silent silver screen, uh, Lauren Bacall. Oh, and then at the television, National Television Awards, I Vox popped her on the thingy, and she was incredibly lovely, and I interviewed her, and I said, I have to say, you were my childhood crush. Oh. She went, my God, you must have been a fetus when you fancied me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, Marilyn was definitely, for years and years and years, that was... And of course, the whole thing about her... Yeah, well, in a way, Marilyn was the same in the sense that her tragic life and the fact that mm. people had... You know, been horrible to her, and she'd never got what she wanted, and all of that Don't added fight. to Don't it. Fight. She was crying. I'm, not, I'm burping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of that added to it. In fact, basically, we're talking about Nanny Die breaking the hose again in Green Fingered Hell. So she did it from this end rather <laughs> than the end. other end. He's going, hold, just hold on to that bit and turn it. Hold on to that bit and turn it. And I'm doing that. And he's going, not that bit, that bit. She turned the one bit that's irretrievably broken now. <laughs> oh, look at your hair. Your hair's out. I've got a hair it's mask on. Hair mask. Oh, anyway, he was very, very, very. <laughs> well, even Kiki looked horrified and shocked at the idea that you'd broken another one. Yeah, the top Kiki broke the first one, didn't she? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I, said, I didn't oh, tell you. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, oh, you took that one for the team, did you? <laughs> I did. Baby, yeah. I did. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I so made it to Ah, oh, Kiki, it's come out on camera. Oh, that's so sweet. Let's I'll take that houses. out of your account then. <laughs> well, then they just have normal hoses where you switch it on and it comes out. Oh, God, I sound like another. Don't you look like her as well. I know. Yeah, you right? switch it on and then you... <laughs> And then it comes out the other end. I mean, grips it. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't you just say it? <laughs> Brexit came out of my mouth. Brexit came out of your mouth. I suppose my thought process was I, that sounded just like my mom. And then I was thinking, what would mom think of Brexit? And then I was thinking, mom. <laughs> and I, I don't thinking, think we want to take Brexit. a journey through your mind. <laughs> it was quite logical. No, it's not. Well, it was not really. Breaks it has no connection to houses. <laughs> Is there no way that you can... No, you can't build that bridge. No way that you can stretch it to make it... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, subs. I'm, I'm... Brexit! Brexit? Why did I say that? <laughs> I was thinking of what Mum would think of the fact that we're still in the same position with Brexit Sorry. as when she died two years ago. That looks... Constipated looking at Nan right now. Why is your face like that? Exactly. Oh, uh. uh, yeah, is that what I was looking like? Oh, uh, yeah, I've just held the same expression. Yeah, I do, yeah. I look like I'm trying to fart. Listen, hose. No, that's. Brexit! Brexit. What's Brexit got to do with hose? Hose. hose? Brexit! Hose! Brexit! Hose, my mother going, hose, why don't you just get yes. hose that comes out of the other end? That's Brexit! The one, that's the one thought. Brexit! Then, in the middle of that thought. Brexit! <laughs> Mum. Mum thinking Brexit. she's voted. How do you think we'll listen then, just to spend then, two seconds? Goes on to this side. Brexit! It's like you couldn't help. And then... Brexit! I could have explained it if I'd done it in words. An awful lot of what I say doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> there she goes. Where Nanny Die goes, nobody knows. Off to the station. Bye. <laughs> Bye, subs. Bye, subs. <laughs> she walks in a circle. She walks in a semicircle. Oh, it's good for her legs. So it's five o'clock on Sunday. Everyone's back. Well, Nadia's back. Um, and I'm exhausted. Done lots of gardening. Go over to Green Fingered Hell to see what we've been up to. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what to do now. I just want to sit here in the car, close my eyes, and have a kip. Annie Dye stumbled off. She is funny, isn't she? Um, she's breaking another bloody hose, though. Ah! She's a hose destroyer. So here's the thing. This week, London is going to grind to a halt Why? tomorrow. Why? Because Extinction Rebellion... Hi. ...who are obviously demonstrating for the government to take action on climate crisis, a climate oh, crisis. our friend Rachel's coming up for yeah, that. They are um, super gluing themselves to everything in central London it's to disrupt Rachel. a major crisis. Is Rachel going to oh, do right. that? Oh, right. Is Rachel going to do that? Rachel's coming up for that march. Oh, right. Well, they're, they're, they're causing disrupt. It's all on the radio now. So it's oh, an interesting okay. debate on LBC where they're talking about, I, we can sympathise, but are they punishing the wrong people? 
Londoner. Well, Londoners. Unless you cause disruption, you won't get in the papers. That's exactly what I thought. Do you think it's right that they're doing it? Um, I think... I understand why they're doing it. I have mm. sympathy for it. We are in an absolute crisis. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, apparently, within 40 years, they're saying all insects will be dead. Right, well, there you go. So our great -grand our grandchildren have no life. So all insects are dead. What happens to the birds? Well, we die, don't we? The plants die, we know that. We're all... murdering it. Yeah. It's a little so bit... that's why our children are very angry, and quite rightly, because mm. that's their future. Because for too long, we've all been saying, well, it's not going to affect us, I won't be here, which is so unbelievably selfish. And now we I think in many price. ways, I think in many ways, what's happening with the climate issue is that such a sort of societal depression is happening for youngsters that they're giving up on things like up on having things. families, having kids, and yeah. the normal stuff that we had as aspirations or dreams. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do agree. Go on, cause the traffic. Yeah. I might jump out and superglue myself. Apparently it takes something like four hours to unsuperglue someone I mean, from something. Incredibly, they're putting themselves at I'm really trying to think what metal things they can superglue themselves to in the middle of a road. I know. I'm going to text her. She literally, how, what is the likelihood of this? As we're talking, she's just texted me. No. Rachel, who's going on the Extinction oh Rebellion God, March, has just texted me oh about yesterday. God. She was asking to see how I was. Does she want to come stay the night? Also? Well, I'll ask, yeah. Tomorrow, an organisation called Extinction Rebellion, who are fighting for the government to recognise the climate crisis we're in, are virtually going to bring central London to a standstill because they're all going to superglue themselves to metal things and make the traffic stop. Is it a good thing? So that they can get it in the papers yeah. how dreadful the situation is. I get it's a dreadful situation, but I think that's a bit over the top, if I'm honest. Do you? <laughs> over the top? You wouldn't, like you said glue. Super glue themselves. Yeah. To cause disruption. So that they get in the papers. Just sit in the road or something. Mm. Mm. Gluing yourself. Well, apparently the reason they're doing it is because it'll take them four hours to unsuper glue them. Yes, Rachel's coming tomorrow with her affinity group. Oh. To affinity and beyond. Oh, she's travelling with me. Are you worried about the climate, Kiki? Yeah, but that's just too far. Bye now. Liz oh, bye. Bye. Here's a kiss. bye. 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 Have fun. You're yeah. off to the cinema. That's off to see mid 90s. Again. The climate changes tomorrow are super gluing themselves to London. She's coming. We're worried she's going to super glue. They're going to super glue themselves to London. It takes four hours to unsuper glue someone. Tea time on Sunday, and Nadia is off to yoga. I always thought when I was younger, when they said yoga, that they just almost sat in a room and ate yogurt. It's like when people used to say it's the rush hour, I used to think it was the Russian hour, and I had this vision in the 70s of people coming from Russia for an hour and doing unspeakable things to us all. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through the papers in a bit. I'm going to sit down, chill out. Here she is. Okay, are you all right, baby? I'm late for yoga. You're late for yoga. And I've still got my bloody hair mask on. Well, I've also got. I've bought some cling film for some other purpose. Oh, no. I don't know what you're asking. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but you, you oh, said I'm to me. I'm going to wrap my hair in the hair mask to get some real, to get the penetrates there. Okay. But I'll show you later. So, uh, so you'll feel better after doing yoga, presumably. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, you must do. Um, you going with your sister? Our friend Rachel has just texted saying she is going to be at the Extinction Rebellion March. But as she rightly observes, she doesn't want to get arrested because she, her son, her dear son Jevon, who's having a baby. Congratulations, Jevon. Um, she won't be able to get back into America if she got a criminal record. So I've said to her, do not super glue yourself to anything meaningful or lasting. What is the time? Uh, I can't. Uh, yes, I can. It's 20 to 6. Oh, shit. Yeah, you need to get a, get a crack on. That's why I said crack as she bent over. Um, I can't find my holder for my phone. It's got my money in. The holder for your phone. You had it earlier. Uh, I hate it when people say that. Why do people say I had it? Of course they had it earlier. Of course she had it earlier. The problem is she doesn't have it now. You moron. Bye. Take care. Bye. Then, am I? Ta-da! A-lister. Where's my water? I don't think you're in the right headspace for yoga. Right, 
That's the vision of a woman heading off for peace and tranquility, which I've actually got because she's left. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna read the papers. And who knows? Oh, Christ. It's a terrible thing, isn't it? You need your specs on to put your specs on. I'm gonna read the papers and maybe there'll be some stories that we could share. So Dina is my yoga bunny. How much yoga have you done? Have you done yoga? Loads. Loads, but this she's never done. What is it? She's never done yoga nidra. Am I going to get to lie down because I've got a belly full of scones and clotted cream? Yeah, you lie down for an hour and a half. Fucking great. <laughs> yeah, we lie down. No down dogs. Any down dogs? I, can't, I, saw, I was just trying to remember because we both hate downward dogs. I think there might be a couple at the beginning, but then afterwards, what you basically do is you sit in an agonising pose for about three to four minutes at a time. <laughs> And he reads you things from Confucius. Oh God! No, but he's really lovely. He's really down to. He's the one with the long white beard. Oh. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Um, but I, took, I had a hair mask on my hair when you oh. rang. So um, yeah, wish us luck. Dina's obviously very excited about it. Why have you had cream scones and crotty cream? Early Easter tea. Oh, God. <laughs> sad, so we've just it? come out of yoga. We could have been Zen. But I lost my bloody phone, so we've just no, had to tear... No, because you put it in a bag. I did not put it... Because she's... <laughs> anyway, we practically ripped the car apart. I thought I was going to have to start get a bloody spanner out and, and take the seat apart. She doesn't remember. Flicking it back into the back. It's hard, that lesson, isn't it? Yeah. You just yeah, have to just hold somewhere. poses for ages so you can get into the connective the tissue. The thing is, you kind of need to do that every day. Well, I do every night when I watch the telly. Oh, I do every night when I watch the telly. I do, and it's horrible. <laughs> and I'm still stiff, so what would I be like if I didn't yeah. do that? Anyway, so that's done. Now I just want to bloody go to sleep. I'm so knackered from that. I'm not. Oh, it was no, in a nice way. I'm like, I'm oh. not even knackered in a nice way. I'm oh. just. <sighs> anyway, bye, Sab. See you later. So, Maddie, do you remember some time ago you were saying men's beards are as unhygienic as poo? Yes. Right, I'm afraid bearded men and women who like men with beards, oh. I've got to put my glasses on because I can't see a bloody thing. Um, men with beards, it's official, are dirtier than dogs. Uh, oh my God. Hang on, it's official. So look, it's bad news for hipsters, but men with beards harbour more germs in their whiskers than dogs carry in their fur. Oh, that's disgusting. The study found- They have the same bacteria in their beards as food. So, sorry? Oh. Men with beards have the same bacteria in their beards yeah. as food. Yeah. So this was an incidental... That's why women get spots and rashes around Is it? Ah, oh, babe. Have you ever had a boyfriend with a beard? I hate... That's why I just hate it that you don't shave them. Yeah, no, but it's hardly beard. No, that's bristle. That's, that's bristle. bristle. That, no, no, because I'm saying because I don't like it. I've got yeah. quite soft skin. It, yeah. it, it irritates oh, me. Oh, you're like a wallflower, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, oh, indeed. God. Maybe it's more like a sort of okay. sanding of your face. Okay. But here's the thing. What's really funny is in this, in this age where you can't say anything about anything to anyone, even if science proves it, Keith Flett. Guess who Keith Flett is? Who? You know who Keith Flett is? He's the founder of the Beard Liberation Front. <laughs> wow. There is a Beard Liberation well, who, Front. Who, who are they liberating? The beards or but, the Well, men? I think it's... Beards. And he says... I think it's possible to find all sorts of unpleasant things if you took swabs from people's hair and hands and then tested them. I don't believe that beards in themselves are unhygienic. There seems to be a constant stream of negative stories about beards that suggest it's more about, get this, pogonophobia. The a loathing of Pogonophobia. Beards. Pogonophobia. Do you know what Pogon pogonophobia is? It's a loathing and a fear of beards. He thinks there's an well, irrational... I'm a pogophonic. You're a what? Pogophonic. Pogonophobic. I'm a pogonophonic. You're a pog and a what? Why are you showing me your shoulder in a suggestive fashion? No, I'm just showing people my bra. That's the bra that you changed for your bra. Isn't it nice? It's very odd, yeah. It's from Lululemon. Yeah, I know it's from Lululemon. All right, darling. No, but it's a sports bra. It's like a top. Okay, clearly, it makes your breasts look like one breast. It's like a mono breast. One breast. Anyway, so pogonophobia. So anyway, yeah, um, men aged from 18 to 76 showed high microbial counts 
but only 23 out of 30 dogs did. So it's official, men's beards are dirtier. They were doing this- You dirty dogs, yeah. you, you dirty dogs. So there you go, what do you make of that, subs? Do you like a beard? Do you like a beard now? I'm making a face mask. Or are you a poganophobe? I think we're poganophobes. Do you think you could have a boyfriend with a beard, Maddie? I suppose you choose a boyfriend based on the person, don't you? But if they had a... Well, you see, everybody says this whole thing of, oh, I just judge people by their personality. Yes. Obviously, they've got to have a nice personality. Yes. But looks matter to a certain extent. Yes. But I don't look at anyone for if they've got a beard. I don't really care if they've got a beard. Okay, if you had a boyfriend who you really loved and they got a beard and you now know... Okay, so there's a difference. I, I wouldn't like a full-on beard, mm -hmm. but I don't mind a bit of... A bum fluff. No, I hate bum fluff. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I don't Goatee? mind if, like, guys have... Yeah. You know, when you don't shave and you've just got... Oh, yeah, yeah, sort of that. stubble. I just don't like beard beards. Yeah. Or moustache. I'm cursed with your mum. I thought I've, I've always, every girlfriend I've ever had in the past has liked a little bit of stubble. It's weird. And I'm sure you've had stubbly boyfriends, Nads. No. Nope. Uh, probably worse, you made them not I don't like stubble. Yeah. Anyway, so men with beards are dirtier than dogs. It's like when guys tell girls to shave their armpits. And it yes. Be like, I don't want to. So why can't a guy go, I don't want to shave my face? Okay, fair enough. Well, but now, if you had a boyfriend and you knew his beard was m muckier than a dog and perhaps had poo, it was worse than poo. I'd probably say, I'd, I'd tell him the fact and be like, do you want a beard after hearing this? <laughs> and then if he was like, yeah, I'd be like, well, okay then. <laughs> Just wouldn't kiss him? No. Yeah. There is something, I mean, even I think the thought of, even I, why would I even want to kiss a beard? Especially I think the thought of kissing a beard is disgusting. There we go. What is going, the hell, are, the hell are you doing? Well, they have. Babe, the last person who did this had an orange in their mouth and they were in the Tory party. Well, I did a photo shoot the other day where they really, really overheated my hair. So I've put a treatment on and now I'm putting cling film on it. Why do you put it around your face as well? I love the way he doesn't ask why I'm putting cling yeah, film why, on it. <laughs> why I don't, still don't understand. Why, what's that got to do with heat and hair? Well, because it just traps and it gets it really hot. I was thinking the other day, me and my sisters, on a Sunday... Hang on, hang on, hang on. You still haven't explained what the hell you're doing. Well, because it, it, it puts heat into the an, into the product and the product goes into your hair. Oh, right, I didn't realise that's product. So will other women just looking at this shot now know what, what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, they'll know what I'm doing. But I was thinking, before Oi? I had children... What was it like? <laughs> before I had children, often on a Sunday night... And certainly when we were teenagers, me and my sister, Sunday night was always the night where you would get yourself, um, you know, pamper yourself. Yeah. Do your nails. Yeah. Put on a, a um, treatment on your hair and make a face mask. So I thought, I'm going to start doing that again now. Now the kids have grown up a bit. Right. I'm going to start doing that again. Where's the avocados? What? Yeah, I need avocados. Avocados? Avocados? Yeah. Does anyone else think she looks like something out of Blake Seven? Do you remember Blake Seven when they used to have those strange, My dad was in that. those strange pepper hats? My dad's in that. Was he? Mm. What was he playing? Was he an alien? Mm, I think so. So what are you going to actually do? So you've got. I'm making face masks. With avocado and banana. Avocado, banana. There's loads of different face masks. It's much better to make a face mask if you can. Well, not better, because there's some really good face masks out there. Well, but, um, because I love cooking, I figure, why don't I use, you know, why don't I make recipes for the face? Look, so banana. Can I lick it off your face afterwards? I don't think you want to, darling. Avocado. Especially around the nostrils. Avocado is really nourishing. So this is, this is a glowing mask. This is for a glow, an aged skin. This is a, th and this is definitely a, th this isn't some fad. This is we something did we used this, to do this as a kid. all the time as kids. Did and you? we we experimented. Dina's got loads of really good natural face masks. So look at that, guys. Banana. Yeah. Avocado. Um, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of honey. Honey has got, is really, really nourishing, but it's also an antiseptic. Do you know Florence Nightingale used to use honey and sugar, used to pack it into wounds because, and they still would now really, because it kills bacteria. So it's really good for spots. 
So yogurt, oh look, just a teaspoon. Yogurt's really good, for, really good for your skin. Whether you eat it or whether you put it on it. Okay. And what this Another really good thing is oatmeal. If we've got some porridge oats, about a half a cup of hot water right. and a cup of porridge oats, and just mix them together, leave them for a couple of minutes and put them on the skin. It's a really good exfoliating glow. Did you not just make a bowl of bursha and slam your face in it? Um, That'd be a way of doing it, wouldn't it? Not really, because no. you don't want to put... Um, I mean, you've hardly sort of... That's there's no point using... Well, yeah. And what is this, what is what this are you, for? You can't find for... I'm just telling the subject. I know, but what will it do? It. What will it this do? Got, I'm trying to tell them. You You're said... trying to approach this from a man's point of view, right? Oh, so man. avocado, banana, yogurt and honey, all of which is, is like um, is a moisturising, nourishing face mask. So... I can use this as the mirror. Oh God, I wish I'd heated it up a bit. I'm gonna put that all over, like that. Oh, oh actually no, I've got some nice charcoal face mask which I might put on my nose, because I know I just had a few blackheads the other day. God, you think you'd get to 50 and you wouldn't have to have blackheads anymore. Maddie, do you want some of this nourishing face mask? No, did you hear how sweetly you can, she said it? You can have some of it, Mark. There's no reason why you can't have it. I've, I've never not had blackheads. There you go, so that's that. And then I'm going to put some um, charcoal. This stuff's great. Any brand, really. It's all good, this charcoal face mask stuff. Hang on, babe, let me just finish doing this. Just don't, you, don't, you don't want to get that on your coat. You've got to do it properly. Okay, here we go. So. Oh, my God, it's that. Stinks. It, oh, it stinks. Oh, can I have some? That's really You know black. how I said, now the kids are grown up, I'm going to do a bit of pampering? Yeah. Can I just do some bit of pampering for me? All right. Pretty close to me. It's classic, isn't it? Now I'm going to be doing my pampering and Mark's pampering. That's right. You can put it on. All right. Oh my God, it absolutely smells that. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Stings. I can't smell it. Oh my God. Of what? What is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's a charcoal face mask. It draws out impurities. I love the smell of charcoal. I don't understand what's happened. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm making myself beautiful for you, baby. Oh my God, this I don't like having food on my face. Oh my God, I can't get it off my hands. I don't like having it on my face. Take it off, babe. I need a tissue. Oh my God, this stuff stinks so much. Oh. Look how hard it is to get off. Look, it doesn't come off. Oh my God. Well, that gonna... is me scrubbing it. How are you going to get it off your nose it's then? It's leaky because I've never used it before. Right. Oh my God, it's making me feel sick. It smells so disgusting. Okay, Subs, I'll see you in 20 minutes with glowing skin. What, are we going to see a difference? Yeah, I'm going to be amazing. You're going to look like the Joker. Oh, look. I've got avocado. It looks like bogey. Ha, <laughs> ha, look. <laughs> Let's just stick it. Do you know who you look like? Who? Oh, let me just get steady. Do you know who you look like? Oh God, I know who. The scarecrow yeah. is, isn't you? <laughs> the scarecrow. In a... Is it a Do this, go like this, go. I can That's it. Confirm with the flowers consultant. I love that song. Da -da 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 -da. I love that song. If I only had a brain. Okay, so let's do the photo. So, Sunday night is quite often uh, a time that, where you do trailer reactions. Yeah. It's a little Sunday moment. It's a Sunday moment. But Daddy what I like, and daughter. What I like about this one, well, ah, ah. Ah. We were going to be doing Game of Thrones, watching ah. it live, but it goes out at 2am tonight. Ah. So what we're going to have to do is record it and then record ah, and uh, do a, we'll have to do non-live reviews of each episode the following day. I ain't staying up until 2am. It's just I mean, ridiculous. it's so sweet the way you two do this together. What? Oh, you've got your... <laughs> Sweet. Keeping you up, Mads. 
<laughs> I like Ranger her your reactions heart. and your reviews. Like her heart. Mm -hmm. So sweet. So anyway, this is a trailer that I missed and that Maddie, uh, that Maddie saw at the cinema tonight. and said, Dad, why haven't we done this trailer? It's good. What is it? It's Book called Smart. Book Smart. Will Farrell's... Not very oh, Will Farrell. Bill Farrell. Bill Farrell. Yeah. Bill Farrell. <laughs> Bill Farrell. Bill Farrell. Bill Farrell. But anyway, yeah. So shall we we'll crack on? You can film us the recording. Uh, I like this moment where I get to say to you lot that actually we missed a trailer and Maddie came home from the cinema tonight and said, Dad, why haven't we reacted to that trailer? Mm -hmm. And what was it called? Booksmart. Booksmart. And guess what? And what? It's produced by Will Ferrell. I think it's his exec. Exec produced, yeah, his company. Hi there, Nads. <laughs> How are you doing? It's filming for the vlog. Don't ask why she's got a clean film head. I look like a ball bearing. Yeah, ball bearing. You know, like when you get ball bearings. I think the ball bearings were all the rage. Yeah, where have all the ball bearings gone? Where have all the ball bearings gone? Anyway. So okay. was that good? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. She called me an old man. Oh, hey, why? She says I'm an old man. I didn't get you it. You don't get it because he's old now and he's a man. <laughs> we, we like the same funny films. Yeah, but I, um, you're like, you know, you're getting out of date now. Maybe stuff. you're on the wrong film there. Maybe you just think it's funny and it's all funny and actually you're not as funny. Well, everyone in the cinema was laughing, so... Were they? Yeah. Was Daddy pretending to laugh? Yeah, she said yeah. I was faking it. <laughs> <laughs> Fake reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I was being polite because you recommended it. So, guys, if you want to watch a totally fake reaction, <laughs> go not to me. our work. No, no, no. Well, no, it's not fake. I didn't say at the end. I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> this could go no, on some time. I'm going to leave them with this I'm one. Really I'm eating granola because you obviously didn't buy enough apricots. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah I didn't buy enough apricots. What are you doing? Well, I did buy some apricots and you ate all of them. I'm making the kids. We're having a lazy Sunday supper, which is very naughty too. But not really, because while they're upstairs, they don't know I'm going to put three eggs in. I've put a load of almonds, some um, flax seeds, hidden into their bag. That's just outrageous. That makes them good. Good, good. Three eggs. Whoops. More eggs than it would say, but I just want them to get the egg. Don't make it easy. God, I'm not doing very well with that. And some oat milk. Are you having some pancakes? Yeah. Yeah! That's best yet. And that's dinner. That's it, is it? With oat milk. <laughs> Do we need to explain So this? my skin, guys, in case you're wondering, feels rather marvellous. Feel it more. I've got knit lotion on How me. soft is that? No good, the girls really don't like it because everyone oh. has a go at them. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah. Feel how lovely and soft my skin is? You need to have a shave though. <laughs> good, huh? Yeah. Looks like the guy at the Adams family again, doesn't she? When she came back after the oh yeah, that's after so Halloween. Right, you look you odd without hair, face? babe. Your head is strangely small and huge. Wait, I made the thin pancakes. Not too thin because then that will mean topping after topping after topping. Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just Every that time nice you have a pancake, mm. you put more sugar on it. I'm not going to make them super thick, and they're not going to be crazy. I like to like fold them. Yeah, yeah, I'll make you thin enough to fold. Thin enough to fold, baby. 